Billy Lockett and don't be so hard on yourself. 22 minutes past six is the time. Now, a former railway cattle dock is set to become the site of the North Lowestoft Men's Shed. Organisers have been outlining plans to transform the area into a community space and also attract new members. They've been searching for a home for more than three years and the vacant land has been unused, would you believe, for several decades. Guy Campbell has more. The North Lowestoft Men's Shed held its first open meeting at the parcel office on Lowestoft Railway Station. Now, it was a chance for potential new members to hear what the shed is all about and their big plans for the future. Because I'm fairly handy, you know, hands-on, and not a bad carpenter and uh, groundwork, etc. I had about 10 years' experience years ago in the building trade. So you feel you could learn a bit, but also part Pass on some pass on, some, some skills some as well. Bits. Yes, that's right. Yes, you can also well. You're always learning, but that that's right. You could uh, you know show people the way around one or two things. You know, and the idea of meeting new friends as well. I assume exactly. it's, well, it's all it's all quite nice. Yeah, yeah. And you've just moved as well. So. That's right. Yes, we we've moved. We've just had 13 beautiful years in Spain, but it's me that wanted to come home, so uh, we've chosen a beautiful area, you know. Well, we've been at this for, what, three and a half years? Yeah, really? Since 2019 we started. So you meet up, but you haven't got a regular no, place we, to meet up? When, when we first started, we thought it'd be easy, but clearly it wasn't, and we just... The pandemic didn't help us, of course. It's been a long, 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 long struggle. And now we're in a position, we've got a piece of land, we're going to have some kind of shed on it, maybe a railway carriage or something like that. And then we have a meeting place. We've got a project. By the look of it, we've got some people who've already arrived. And hopefully they sign up. We'll be away. Shed chairman is John Ellaby. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an amazing experience. And it is great to be having something concrete to do because we've all been this talking. Time, it really is. Yeah, so the Wary Lines Community Rail Partnership, working with the Lowest of Central project, have a vision for the station and its surrounds, which is to make it more attractive to visitors, um, but also to involve the community and improve the wildlife and uh, bringing the former cattle dock back into some form of use after 50 years of dereliction is, is a major step forward. Martin Halliday is the Community Rail Norfolk Development Officer. As the Community Rail Partnership, we're looking to, to fund a uh, sort of a temporary building for them, which will either be a, a container or, or some form of railway carriage um, or even a, a bus. But um, something, you know, that uh, is authentic, but obviously is not a permanent feature and can be moved if, if necessary. Um, and, and then in the longer term, we're exploring opportunities to get them uh, a more permanent building on the station site. The support we've had from Martin has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, I don't, we wouldn't have got it going without Martin, would we, really? No. It's been really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm Philip Lacey. I'm from Greater Anglia as well, who facilitated this whole process. So we, we are, as ever, supported by the community, both business and people, and we hope that will continue as well. You're officially called the North Lowestoft Men's Shed, but all welcome, aren't they, really? Yeah, according to our membership, say anybody over the age of 18, um, who wishes to join and agrees with all the principles and so on of the shed. You just have to join to become a member. We have regular meetings every Wednesday at the Grit at 11.30 and I hope within the next few weeks we'll have people coming down to the piece of land, I call it the land, our land of hope and dreams, and um, start work on it, clearing a space for whatever we put there. So why I'm excited to be part of the men's shed, the new men's shed, is that it's being involved from the ground up. About It's about men, mostly men, getting together and actually exchanging skills, but also sharing how they're feeling. I mean, well-being is a very important aspect of things these days. So it gets people out of the house, but as I say, it's just the start of it, but the nice thing then is that people can, people can be involved in actually creating the men's shed that they want. Joe Thompson there, who's a member of the North Lowestoft Men's Shed, and looking forward to the group having a permanent home.